Hi friends, this is Vetrivel. This tutorial I will teach uh, load more options, load more data uh, on demand in repeater control. So I am click load more data, it will load in the data. Uh, up to I am loading the 5 5 records without refreshing. So you can load the records. So here I used uh, repeater and uh, update panel and process process panel okay I have used three controls here main controls now I will teach how to make that okay first of all I need to create the store I will sh show the my uh, table name this is my table name uh, alter way I am using the uh, records from this product table you go to show data you will get the I have 128 records is there right now so I need to go to uh, config I had this connection string here so first uh, go to view and click server explore and you have to add connection and add your connection just you have to put the dot and select uh, alter way this is my database name which your database you are which database you are using you have to simply choose that database here uh, you are using uh, we here I am using this uh, alter way database and click this database and go to properties you will see the connection string here just you have to copy this connection string sorry copy this connection string and paste it here here connection string connection string open and connection string add name is connection string and connection string is I am just copy and paste this so this is uh, paste in a web config after that after that I need to add the web config here call the web config here SQL connection C O N equal to new connection so you want to use this SQL connection before that you have to declare the SQL uh, using system dot data dot uh, SQL client after that you are using the configuration to uh, call this web config so you have to use the config system dot config so here I successfully uh, configure my uh, SQL connections here <coughs> before that I need to uh, initiate value in number equal to zero zero I am inserting the values why we are using the, this number so this is the by default is this five records so I need to declare how many records by default I want so that's why I am using here zero here I am using five records so it will showing the five records okay here page this is uh, not equal to page dot post back post back means so once hit the button it cannot refresh cannot refresh so that's why I am using the post back huh. that is the not main reason once hit the button so it will uh, again refreshing the server side server side so I need to hide those details that's why I am using the page dot post back so not post back so it will won't post back so I am initiating the number equal to 5 here I am declaring the view state I am creating the view state to store the values so the, the, that view state only works on the page running time only once you have to refresh this sections it won't show the uh, it won't store the view state uh, any records you you can't find the any records in that view state so just uh, temporarily variables only temporarily values only and storing so I am using the view state num equal to number so I am storing the values to that view state here after that I am declaring the bind repeater this is a function a custom function that means I am myself I am created the that function it is not a system function so here I am calling this number storing the number so that number is comes here okay in runtime it comes here before that I will declare two store procedures one I have many store procedures but I will teach one 
this is a sketch student details i am just giving the uh, procedure name this is student details but so why i am using this procedure name so i am getting the top value so once i will show the details before the just go to new query here products so i am select just put the star here and execute so it will come the 120 records here here before that you have to put top 5 so execute it will come only 5 records top 10 it execute only 10 records so <coughs> so I need to pass how many records I want just I have to pass the records pass the values here it will automatically fetch the values from the DB from the database okay that's why I'm using this query here okay just I'm putting the at top I'm declaring the uh, parameter is uh, at top and pass the parameter here and get the values from this procedure using this procedure I have to use one more procedure is counting the value how much records is there so 128 records is right now in my database I am getting the values from here how many records right now in my database okay so once I hit I execute the project I will get the value so I have 128 records right now so I am getting the result for that okay now I am going to program right now so here binding number of say so I am declaring the data table dt equal to new data table so it's a temporary data table then to temporary table is act as a temporary table so you have to declare this data table before that you have to mention the using dot system dot data then only you can use that okay so after that you have to SQL command CMD equal to null SQL data adapter uh, ADP equal to null I am using now I am using the try catch try catch try it will try the records here see this is the try block this is so it will try execute try to execute these records in case any errors comes it will execute the catch functions here catch function I am using the script dot register sort of script like this is the javascript is act as a javascript in runtime it will convert it into the javascript in finally successfully executed after that finally i am closing the uh, connections so i am calling the connections here this is the connections so inside i am opening the connections open the connection and uh, after that i am closing the connections here close the connections uh, and uh, cmd dispose and the adp equal to null and dt database i am clearing the database and dispose the database here here uh, or count so i am executing the uh, how many records right now in database I am getting the values how many records in right now database so I am using the R count R count also is a function custom functions I am created the R count here here I am executing int number of rows equal to zero so executing the connections here uh, like uh, get student details sp dot con connections and c connection type equal to uh, store procedure and try I am using here also try catch here connection is opened open and uh, execute the uh, command so execute the command is scalar I say execute scalar so it will uh, comes from the like a variable value after that I am converting that value into number of rows so in rows so it will store here uh, 28 it will store here 28 so uh, 28 after that return the values 28 so it is a int function so I am just calling for storing the int function value so same data type so he will see this is int row functions so that's why I am storing the values to int here so this is the same data uh, data type you you can easily post after that I am comparing the values comparing the values is 
number of rows greater than R count. So you have to think. So I have 128 records right now, but in loading 130 it comes. So it will showing the error. It will showing the error. So that's why that's why I am using here row count greater than uh, number of rows. So it will hide the and load more button so it will load more button it won't execute after that okay so it will automatically disabled here okay that's why i'm using here after that i'm executing the command and connection open the connections uh, and cmd i'm top values i'm passing the top values is number of row so it number of row is 5 so it will comes 5 here after that uh, 128 greater than uh, 5 so this condition is false so it if condition it cannot work cannot work after that it will go the connections and number of row 5 it will come and execute and CMD execute the CMD so I am using the SQL data adapter so it will try to uh, get the result from the SQL data adapter after that I am build the that records into DT DT means data table okay so after that DT rows count I am counting the uh, rows count greater than 0 then it will pass the values to repeater control repeater student repeater details so I am using the repeater control here repeater control here I will teach all the details also this also uh, repeater control and data source equal to DT and repeaters uh, control equal to data find so in case it broke uh, this condition is false it will come a uh, data source is null so that means repeater you won't have any data that time so now I will teach designing sections so here I am using the script manager so he have to go to toolbox and uh, find the script manager here in Ajax section and under the Ajax section you can find the script manager and just track down here after that I am using the update panel I am using the update panel all the controls is comes under the update panel here so I am using the update panel after that I am using the field set so how much width uh, I need to want the I have to set the field set options so in le in that legend options legend option I am using the uh, you have to use uh, like uh, f h1 h2 or anything you can use here using uh, load more on demand it will store uh, it will show the here it will show here so field set under the it will comes under the uh, like that panel like that after that I am using the table inside the table row sections I am adding the repeater repeater control so repeater have I am using the header template at after item template after footer template so I am open the table inside the header template here and putting the header also after the item template I am using the data this will be repeating the data here so after I am footer template I am closing the tables after that I am close the repeaters so here I have to add one uh, button load more button so load more button ASP button I am using load more button here that load more button have uh, on click button load button load more click so it will calls once I hit the button it will calls here okay Th this and all also I will teach it later now I will teach button click after that I am using the update progress update progress so update progress I am using static and display after 10 milliseconds so it will work the 10 milliseconds <laughs> After that, I'm that uh, inside the update 
process template I am calling the loading image loading zip image I have stored in loading zip image here so you want load zip image you can just go to Google and go to image uh, loader zip just type the loader zip and you can go to find the image so which type of loader you want just you have to copy and paste it and uh, download it and uh, store into image section and track the image sections here after that you have to set the how much width uh, and height you want just you have to set the width and height okay after that I am closing the uh, progress template progress template so table and fill set and content template so update panel I am using the update panel you know, so uh, everything is under the update panel so here I am using the uh, content template so this is the content template so inside the content template I am just inside the content template I am just uh, this is update panel inside the content template I am using the repeater and also I am using the process bar controls here now I am put the save button save button I think all the details I think you have to know that so this is the e value it will comes from the database once I using uh, like uh, uh, data source dt data source dt and data bind i'm using the data bind it will automatically comes from the e value section okay here and first time i'm loading this right now view state i'm storing the values in file the bind record will come the file so it will execute the results so top five records will store into that dt it will comes the five records only okay so I will see first I'm run the project here so it will comes the only five records once I hit the load more button that time execute this functions this function that time I will uh, get the values previous value what I'm stored in to view state that previous value in first time should be in 10 so I am converting that view state value into uh, integer after that I am adding again 10 value so right now is 20 that 20 it will be stored into this number num value after that I am again calling bind repeater here bind repeater and store the uh, value is 20 so it will go to the 20 here so that means the, ex the 20 records will be loading right now 20 records it will be loading after that I am storing the recent value of this 20 into num value again click one more time I am click button load more that time so I will click the load more button loading the 10 records again I am click the load more button previous value view set uh, is 20 right now after that I am adding and 10 record 10 10 additional 10 so I am using 30 it will show here so based on 30 record we will find the records after that I am storing the 30 recent value 30 store into again re, uh, replacing the uh, previous value of view state 20 to 30 so it will execute perfectly so see once I hit the button it will load the again, again 10 so it won't refresh it will only update the this update panel only only okay guys we will meet our next best tutorial bye see you